What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about some of the thoughts I have experienced or some of my friends have experienced or people that I know. When you're self-employed, you go through the ups and downs. You're, you're kind of like a miracle maker. You're going out there, coming up with money. I'm not talking like something unreachable, unre you know? I mean, if you have good credit, you have um, good salesmanship, good people skills, relationship skills, soft skills, uh, high uh, at emotional intelligence, your, uh, I think it's called EQ. Um, and you're, you're just uh, properly planning, properly reviewing, properly thinking out all the, the things that are important to uh, do uh, in business. Sometimes you go through cycles. There are challenges that are thrown at you. Something breaks down, a machine breaks down, a freezer breaks down, you have to call the plumber, something backed up. Um, so there becomes kind of big expenses. And sometimes it's more than what we have in our um, account, or we have to pay taxes. Um, I, I have a friend, uh, twice a year, he has to pay over $50,000 in property taxes. Over $50,000 twice a year. And sometimes... You know, you you, uh, you got to pay bills. You got to pay your employees. You have to um, pay late fees for his uh, property taxes. Uh, sometimes he has to... Um, and really, I guess the point of this really gets to... How do you handle depression? How do you overcome the stress of life? Or when you're in a seasonal business how do you take it to a level where you're um, handling everything maturely typically for me I like the challenge I like to be the miracle maker I like to raise the bar so to speak I like to uh, take it to another level where I'm being productive, I'm being um, that person that other people um, think highly of. Uh, they want to emulate because when you have your stuff together, when you have um, a degree in uh, hard knocks, if you will, where you, you, you kind of learned all the stuff that you needed to learn about your business, not from school, not from going to college, not from high school or whatever, but you learned it from friends and family. You learned it from uh, other places than uh, what most people assume you're going to learn school from or the, the knowledge that you need to take on the challenge, to be the miracle maker. When you got to come up with $1,300 and you only have $500. But you know you're going to get paid from certain customers that day to get that $1,300. Maybe not at the end of the today, today, but tomorrow or later this week. So you you could pay your bills. Um, when you're the miracle maker and everyone looks to you to deliver on the uh, obligations you said you're going to be able to deliver on and keep your word, you're going to be a man of your word, you're going to have... Uh, your head up, your back straight, chest out. You're going to have your pen and paper ready for the sale. You're going to uh, answer the phone calls. You're going to take on each challenge one at a time. Um, you're going to properly uh, prioritize uh, things that are challenging you t to you. You're only going to promise what you can promise today and plan out the things that you can achieve in a realistic time uh, over over the proper amount of time that you need. Meaning, if you have a task that you can get done today, you can do it today, you can promise that person. You give them the word. 
I'm going to be there. I'm going to deliver on the product you need or the service you need. And I can do it today. So you, you do that. Now, if you can't get it done today, but you can get it done tomorrow or later this week, that's what I mean. By the proper amount of time, you got to look at it and say, yeah, certain amount of money's coming in, you budget, you know. I'm not saying you're, you're um, so tight with your money that you're budgeting just to budget unnecessarily because you, you got to have cash flow. You have to have good cash flow, and that's a different subject for a different time. But this right here is talking about dealing with uh, depression, stress, problems. Um, proper planning will prevent most of that. Keeping uh, a good mental attitude is going to help you overcome all the difficulties that are in front of you. But you got to take on the challenge. You got to be that person that can take on the challenge, stand up, and take on the challenge. And if it requires sitting down, obviously, uh, in your office or whatever, you do sales over the phone, um, that's that's how you do it, you know. But the idea is to take on the challenge, be that person that people can come to, and they want to come to you because they know you take on the challenge. And that's the exciting part of it all, taking on the challenge, showing people what you're made of. And that goes into personal relationships with women, with men, uh, with anybody that you're dealing with. Take on the challenge. Show them what you're made of. And be respectful in every way of other people, their time, they value you, uh, and you uh, will make more money based on the value they perceive in you and they're willing to pay the the more uh, if you're providing a service that's valuable to them and if you like this uh, uh, video or this thought give it the big thumbs up spread the word spread the, the the chair it's it's a lovely week it's Valentine's week happy Valentine's to everybody but remember we're on Patreon and other social websites. Um, we're uh, going to come out with more videos. And if this is any value to you, go down to the PayPal link. Go down to the PayPal link and uh, give us a donation. If it's only $1, $5, $10, whatever it is, we appreciate everything. Thanks again. Have a great day.